Hi, this is Ellen here at Latherby Naked Soaps, and today we are making Blueberry Buckle Artisan Soap. Even though I've been making soap for many years, this is only my second video, so thank you for tuning in. I wanted to talk a little bit about soap making safety. The first thing you will need is soap making safety goggles. This pair was purchased from Brambleberry. The second thing that you will need are safety gloves. I use a chemical resistant, latex free glove. I will begin by adding my room temperature lye water solution to my melted oils. Next, I will incorporate my lye water solution into my oils using my stick blender until trace. I am close to trace because I am no longer seeing trails following the blender in the batter and the batter is starting to resemble the consistency of pudding. Next I will separate my batter into three containers. The first will have purple Vibrance Mica from Nurture Soap, the second will have dark navy blue Mica from Nurture Soap, and the third will be reserved for titanium dioxide. In this cup, I'm looking for a nice white color, so I'm going to add titanium dioxide pre-mixed in sunflower oil. Be sure to mix in your titanium dioxide thoroughly with your hand blender to avoid clumping. Next, I will add in my fragrance oil. I chose Blueberry Jam by Brambleberry. This particular fragrance oil is said not to discolor the soap, and it is also said not to accelerate trace. I am not reaching the blueberry blue that I was looking for, so I'm going to go ahead and add more dark navy blue mica. Next, I'm going to do a basic drop swirl to mix in the purple with the blue. I painted on some black lines using charcoal and rubbing alcohol. This will show me where my bars are, which will make it easier when I'm adding embeds later on.
Next, I will add the remaining fragrance oil to the white batter. I am choosing to use a whisk instead of a hand blender so that it doesn't accelerate trays too much to make it too thick when I want to add in my other colors. Be sure to tap down your mold on the table or floor to make sure that all air pockets or air bubbles are eliminated. The batter is starting to accelerate a little bit, which is actually working for me because I would like the batter to look very similar to whipped cream. I'm cleaning up the edges and then I will give it another tap. The batter is actually firm enough to add the embeds. I made some soap curls and soap blueberries ahead of time. Those pre-painted black lines are coming in handy now. I can see where each bar of soap should start and end so that it makes the placement of the embeds much easier. Now I will give the top layer a generous spritz of rubbing alcohol. I'm going to add some iridescent Enviro glitter from Brambleberry using one of Nurture Soap's glitter spray bottles. The glitter will add some texture and it really makes that top pop. The fragrance is delicious, the blueberries look good enough to eat, and just look at that soap sparkle. I'll be back in 24 hours to cut the soap into bars. It's 24 hours later and we're ready to cut the soap.
Thank you so much for tuning in for our second video here at Latherby Naked Soap. If you liked the video, please feel free to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for future videos. Have a great day, everybody. Happy soaping.